Dwayne here, phoenixtypewriter.com. We're going to look at this Royal Portable Manual Typewriter. Futura 800, I think. Let's take a look and see what this was back here. I'll just call it an 800. But it's a simple manual typewriter with the uh, pop-up lid. It's pretty cool. Bing. Let's type a little bit on it and then we'll uh, show you how everything else works. Prints nice and good. Inside the lid here, if you want to uh, switch it to red, you got to move this little lever here to red. And you can type in red. Pretty slick. Underneath the lid here, too, is the uh, touch control. Set on three right now. Oh, while well, we're under the lid, let's, let's show you how to do the ribbon here. So the ribbon on this is slick. So it just takes the uh, simple two spool ribbon, but this has got these little arms that you move and they stay in that position and you can just lift this ribbon out of here. Just like, just like that. So if you get a new ribbon, just remove these little arms here in the center. Let's see if I can get some light down here. So you have these things just move. Like that, open up the gap right here. It's one of the simplest ribbons to put in. On. You got to get it through this little fork for the reverse action. So we'll get it through the fork, drop it down on the spindle. Same thing on the other side, down on the spindle. And then all I got to do is get it up through. Just like that. Close the little guys right there, and she's ready to go. Doesn't get much easier than that. Oops. So that's an easy, maybe the easiest ribbon to install ever. All right, Royal's pretty basic. It's got some tabs, set and clear. Magic columns. <laughs> you know, they call everything magic. It does have magic margins up here. These are the trickiest part of the Royal typewriters because most of them just have sliders where you would stop. The margin would be a slider right here or back here somewhere. This one, same thing on this side, would be a slider. And, and there is on this machine, but it's invisible. It's hidden underneath the covers. And it's controlled by these red buttons up here. And I'll show you real quick how to do that. So you need to grab the carriage release button either side. Button there, get your carriage moving free. Button over here, carriage moving free. And go ahead and bump up against either margin. We'll, we'll go that way first. Bump up against it, it stops. Push the button down. It's going to now move to the edge. Release the button. Now the, the stop is all the way back over there. Nice bell too. Same thing with this side. Carriage release. I'm going to switch my finger here. I'm going to push this button down. Move it over. Release it. Now it's all the way against the edge. Edge to edge. Here's the fun part. You move the carriage where you want it. And then you just press the red button and it's going to slide over here automatically. It just slid right there. Now it's 
right there. Same thing with this side, it's all the way over against the edge. Just back it up and put it right about here. Hit the button, it slid over to this point, and now it's right there. Now the trouble is, inadvertently, this might get pressed, and this might get pressed. And now you go to the typewriter and, and you can only move it this far. And you're like, well, what the heck? And you know, you can hit margin release down here and move it further, but come back and it's still stuck. See, move it over there, but it's still stuck. That's because your two margins are here and here now. Again, release the carriage, butt up against it, push it down, move it to the edge, release it. Same thing with this side, push it down, move it to the edge, release it. Now put the carriage where you want it, press the button, bang, all goes there. Same thing on this side, put it where you want it, bang, all. it's right there. That's how you do magic margins. Alright, I think we're uh, done this machine. We service did an intense clean job on it. It's clean, clean, clean. And it's going to go back home in a day or two. These royals really come out pretty nice. So we just call this. end of the video. Good day.